This is the century of biology. And already in this 21st century, we've had pretty well around 30% of human discovery. So in this 21st century, we're going to unravel how the brain works. It's no longer going to be a black box. We're going to turn cancer, really complete the progression from it being a sentence into just a word that's treatable. More than half of us are going to get cancer. Then there are thousands of genetic diseases from the 18,000 genes that we have in, in the human body. So all this together with huge advances in data processing, in computing, in chemistry, in nanotechnology, in, in regenerative medicine from stem cells is really going to make a huge difference to all our lives. The real issue that's going to confront all of us is aging. Already, the average Australian at age 65 has two chronic diseases. Now, life expectancy has improved extraordinarily in the last 120, 130 years. It's actually six hours a day, seven for boys and about five for girls. I know that sounds unfair. So every morning I wake up, I'm only 17 hours closer to my death. That's an extraordinary statistic. And although that's likely to keep going for quite some time, the real return we'll have for this investment will be on the quality of life for people as they age. I mean, a century ago, I'd be dead by now. You know, people at age 50 plus just weren't here. We will, my life expectancy is already well over 80. Um, we'll push that a little bit further, but it's the quality of life for the economy and for our sanity. We welcome and need Australians to work now beyond conventional retirement ages for another five, 10 years, and then enjoy their retirement in good health. So I do research in two areas. One is into stem cells from the fetus and the placenta. These are sort of halfway between really pluripotent embryonic cells, which can do a lot, but a bit dangerous to use, and older adult stem cells, often from the bone marrow, that are a bit tired and worn out. And by using these, we can manipulate them to make them very um, youthful in terms of contributing to repairing tissues. So we test these in, in mouse models of things like congenital diseases, osteogenesis imperfecta, but also in repairing wounds, skin wounds, bone fractures, etc. Increasingly we can get these from the placenta and combine them with treatments like not only tissue stem cells but blood vessel stem cells to promote wound and bone healing. So the other thing I do research on is identical twin, sometimes triplet, fetuses in utero. Now that's where they share a common placenta and thus the blood circulation. Siblings often don't share things well and this goes awry about 15% of the time in something called twin-twin transfusion syndrome. Essentially one of them nicks most of the blood. That's got a mortality rate, a death rate of over 85%. Even with our current treatments, which are reasonable, a death rate of around 50%. So we're working on developing treatments new treatments that will arise out of laboratory research to address this problem and save the lives of many babies in utero as well as the other complication they get which is brain damage. <music>